All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to install new themes into GIMP 2.8 in Linux. And what I have in Linux, I have a virtual machine called VMware. So this is my virtual machine that you see me moving around here, okay? <clears throat> here it is. See how it says up here on the top, VMware player? Okay, so here we go. All right, first thing I want to say is that all the um, themes are coming out of this website here. Okay, make sure you guys give credit to them. They're doing a good job with it. And right now, there's this is my new theme color for my GIMP. There it is. This one happens to be called Pen O Master. And just so that we remember what's the name of it, they both start with the letter P and it's purple. All right, let's just remember that. The other theme that I downloaded was Blue Heart. And what I've done here, I created a folder called Bananas for me because I'm going to put the new theme that I download into this folder on my desktop. Okay. And real quick, before I go any further here, I want to point out that there is a um, a folder that's being circulating around, and it's it's this one here, Better GT K2 Themes, whatever, and it comes with uh, 15 themes. And I think that's cool and everything, but unfortunately, I cannot get them to work when I when I install them into GIMP. So, just a heads up, and these here, these are all the 15 themes that come out of this folder here. And I couldn't get them to work, so, just so you know, so I don't even need them. I'm going to get rid of them. Gone. Okay. So, I can just remember, it's out of this folder, and you can't install them onto GIMP. So, you got to do it uh, one by one. So, here we go. This is a site that I went to. And let's pick, uh, let's try this, let's try this one, this Midnight, looks like it's for a Mac here, let's just download that. Make sure you have a save file, press OK, should be downloaded, here it is, open, okay, and see when you have this little option here that says extract, you want to extract, what do you want to extract it to, so like I said, I want to extract it into this folder called Bananas for me. Yeah, it's kind of got a lame name, but it just really stands out. So here we go. This one's going to be extracted into desktop, and it's going to be placed in this folder here, Bananas for Me. Okay. Extract it in there. We're done. We don't need that anymore. Minimize this. And just to check, there is that folder. Okay. All right, so we're done with the website. Now we're going to go to GIMP. This is where it gets interesting, very tricky, so kind of follow along. Again, the theme that I currently have on GIMP right now is this Pen O Master. And just to go check, <clears throat> you want to go to Edit, Preferences. This is where you're going to check what themes are available for GIMP. Check on Theme. And as I said, Pen O Master is the current one that I have. Here's that blue heart that I was talking about. And if I click on it, it's going to switch from purple to whatever that theme is. Blue, white, whatever, so you can see it. I'll go ahead and leave it on that. There we go. Okay, so back to uh, this thing here. Now to add the theme, you have to go to Edit. And in case you guys are wondering, this is my menu up here. I don't know why it's not stuck to here, but anyway, that's something else to deal with. I'm sure you guys might know and let me know if you figure it out. Anyway, so, Go to Edit, Preferences, Folders, make sure the little, you click on the little arrow and you want to go down to Themes. When you do this, this dialog opens up. And as you can see, there's a list of themes on here so far. Okay. <clears throat> so what I want to do is, I want to, yes, there's another folder called Banana Downloads. That's something else I created earlier, so just ignore that. So I want to, when you add, when you want to add a new theme, you must click on this icon right here. Again, I'll say that again. You must click on this little icon here. It's got a little sheet of paper with a green plus sign. You have to click on it once. You know you're there because your cursor will be here. You see that? Good. Now this icon here is going to allow you to go search where that new theme was placed and we place it in that folder called bananas for me so we're going to click on that and we know it's on desktop there is the folder bananas for me okay click on that click on that once 
click OK. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's highlighted there. And I'm going to go ahead and change that. Look at the color right now of my current GIMP theme. Blue, whatever, okay? So, we're going to click OK. And you will have to restart again for the following changes, blah, blah, blah. OK, fine, click OK. When it says restart, basically it means you just got to X out of it and close that GIMP application or program. Okay, so here we go. That's gone. I don't need this anymore. Open up GIMP. And there you have it. The new theme has been installed into Linux. And I did this in a virtual machine called VMware Player. There are some other ones, but anyway, this is the one that I like and I like to use it. So, let's say, oh, no, that's too dark, I don't like it. So you have to go back up to, if you don't like this theme because it's too dark, go to Edit, Preferences. This is a way to change your theme that you just downloaded because you don't like the color, it's too dark. For whatever reason, click on Themes. And what you see here, this is a list of the available themes that are now for available for GIMP 2.8. The current one is highlighted. It will always be highlighted. And it's just Midnight OS X, okay? Let's say you don't want that. Okay, you want to go back to the default. Click on that. And you should be able to see an immediate change here. There it is. Now, this Panel Master, the purple one, remember I said, remember it starts with a little P, the Panel Master? This one, I, I think it has to do because I only have two gigabytes of RAM on this a virtual machine, so it takes a while. But if you want to speed things up, when you do this, just click OK, get out, start it up again, and you're going to see a, a purple splash. That means it was purple. See? We're back on there. And if you don't like the purple, go back to Edit, Preferences, go to Theme. And just change it to something else you want. Load. Let's say you want the midnight one. Okay, nah. I want to go to default. There you go. But if you want the midnight one, just click on that. Click OK. OK. There you go, guys. Have a good one. Good night. Goodbye. See you later. Make sure you uh, give me a thumbs up. I put some serious effort into this. I really did. So if anyone knows how to fix this little irritating thing, why well, I don't have my menu bar on top of my <laughs> Gimker. Let me know, guys. I really appreciate it. Again, good night, goodbye, see you later.